What's up? It's your boy Laws OSS 980, other side of sports. It's game one of the NBA Finals, the Celtics and the Golden State Warriors. And when I tell you this is a series, this is a series. Now, I, I, I'm i pretty sure Vegas came up a little bit because nobody had Golden State losing the first game at home. Just spoiler alert right off the bat. They lose game one to the Celtics in a game where Steph Curry came out the gates cooking. He came out the gates cooking. And it looked like classic Warriors, we about to run away with it type of game. They got about 10, uh, you know, but the Celtics stuck around. Marcus Smart kept them in the game. Got a lot of like, just was active. Um, definitely show leadership qualities in keeping his team in the game. Jason Tatum didn't really, I don't think he really took over this game. This game was this man here, Al Horford, dog. Al Horford had a game. And and if you looking at the tape, dog, all of his shots was most of them was uncontested. I don't know how you do not account for Al Horford when. He was a game changer in the last series he played in. And he's shooting wide open trays with no hand up. And honestly, I mean, it's just you gotta keep it a hundred. A lot of those closeouts is the responsibility of Looney or or Draymond Green. And the defense was not there on Al Horford, and it was a difference maker. Then you had the ugly bug was cooking. He was out there cook. Derek White was out there cooking, dog. He was the dude who just, every time he thought that Golden State was going to take a lead, he would just come in, hit a clutch bucket, and keep him in it. Dog, he really was looking like this man here, dog. Is this Derek White twin brother? Because he was frying, dog. Uh, I mean, like I said, it was just one of those games you thought Golden State was going, they, they were just right there on the cusp of like getting the blowout status. And then, you know, Celtics just hung around. And then Celtics in the fourth quarter, they changed the game, dog. Bama thought like it was like, oh, go to state, got this jump. Somebody t- shout out my man John. He gonna hit me in the middle of the game talking about, yeah, dog, this jump get to get out the broomsticks. I'm like, dog, this jump gonna go seven, bro. I'm telling you, this is a series. Fourth quarter, Celtics got on the sticks and was like, hold on, champ. They ain't going down like that. Uh. Excellent game, you know what I'm saying. Shout out to the to the, the officiating crew. Uh, I think they called a, a pretty fair one uh, down the middle. You know what I'm saying. I ain't see a whole lot of Stern's orders in the mix at the game, but you know how that that, that that can that can get a little little funny. You know it can get a little funny, but uh, ultimately, I thought it was a a great game. You had the announcer, all black announcing, announcing crew, Mark Jackson, Mark Jones, and Lisa Salters. I appreciate that, NBA. Good looking on, on that. I thought they, they called again. I mean, Mark Jackson, you already know he, he official. He's going to do what he do. Um, but I think in the absence of Jeff Van Gundy, I did miss Gundy a little bit um, and, and Mike Breen. It, but it, the flow was dead, dog. It just, you know, when you got these professionals, so so they they took care of business. Um yeah, star studded event. You had the man Jigger Man was out there, you know. I'm like, you already know Bama look homeless, but you know, he not, so <laughs> it just it is what it is. Um, yeah, good game. This is gonna be a good series. I'm looking forward to seeing, you know, the rest of it. Uh, who y'all got, man? Who y'all think gonna win this series, man? Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel. Uh, follow us at OSS980 on Instagram. Uh, and I'm out.